And how long have you been here? I've been here for uh, about 10 years. I mean, 10 years and a couple months, so. You went to Aviation High School, you said? I went to Aviation High School, yes. Right here in Queens? Right here in Queens, uh, 2009, I graduated. And what has this opportunity meant for you and your family? Being that I'm very young and coming out of Aviation High School, making them proud to become an aircraft technician. These airplanes are not going to fix themselves, and there is always going to be a job for aircraft technicians moving forward in the future. When we wake up, we're thinking about how do we provide opportunities for everyday Queens residents, especially opportunities for upward mobility. So the $20 billion investment being made here at JFK, but also JetBlue, is really about making sure we can provide these opportunities. You're all an inspiration in, in helping us achieve that. But how's it been? It's been wonderful. The residents that are moving in are in love with the place. Rockaway Village is one of the best things that's happened to Far Rockaway, and I'm so thankful that you were able to bring it here. And did you see what this site looked like before? Yeah, it was a parking lot. I am very happy to be here. I'm a mother of, well, two boys and having one. <laughs> We know you're on the road for upward mobility. Your story is the story of what we wanted to see when we built this development. Some people think about this development as just units, or it's just buildings, but it's really about the lives. I would like to give you a personal thank you because you also saved me from domestic violence. If they want to go outside, I don't have any problems. So I thank you a thousand and one percent. Personally, you, I thank you. So at least I know at night I can sleep, my kids are okay, I'm okay. This is why we do what we do. It's not easy. It's not. Not easy. But the fight is to make sure that black and brown communities can have the same access that every other community has. And your zip code, your socioeconomic status should not be a determinant. So we have a lot of good stories here. We do have homeless families here, or formerly homeless formerly families. Formerly homeless right. now, right, exactly. Once they formerly, move here, hey, they are yeah. no longer exactly, homeless. Exactly, exactly. Once the project is complete, we'll have 217 formerly homeless families. I take a lot of pride in being able to work in a facility where we really can serve our patients to the best of our abilities with the high quality care that we're able to provide without having to think about their ability to pay, their background. I think it's, just, it's quite a privilege to be able to work at a facility like that. We can see that our interior infrastructure needs improvement, and we see that the needs of the patients are also expanding. I'm really excited to see uh, the new uh, ORs that we're having. We're so excited to do robotic surgery there. We have a bigger environment for our patients. We're really excited, all nurses and doctors are. And what I always say, is great to bang pots and pans to show our appreciation during the pandemic, but pots and pans only go so far. And that's one of the reasons we're investing in this institution and want to see it grow. The NICU is the place where we take care of sick newborns. Mm. I always tell everyone that I have the best job in the world. Mm. And, I, and I do you're, believe You're that. a living angel. Well, God bless you for what you do. Thank I, you. I mean, thank I, you I'm so, so much. Grateful. And, and thank, God, thank you for helping us want to get a brand new NICU, which is really our dream. Whew, it's going to happen. And that's why we're investing in this, because you should not have to leave your neighborhood or have the most modern equipment because you live in a certain zip code. Well, thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you for what you do. Thank you thank so you. much. Look forward to coming back to the groundbreaking for your new unit. Oh, thank I you. can't wait for that. <laughs>